Our next speaker on this interesting multi-layer stent is Thomas Larzone from uh, Orbo, Sweden, and he's going to talk to us on the treatment of thoracoabdominal aneurysms results uh, treatment with the multi-layer stent results in decreased intrasac pressure and sac shrinkage. Thomas Larzon, tell us about these. Thank you, Frank. Thank you for your invitation. And uh, the question you have given me, I know that this is really what you want to ask. Does it work or does it not? Um, I disclose nothing in conflict with this presentation. Uh, we have used a, a chromium cobalt uh, stem from Cardiotis. It's a flow modulator uh, mechanism we are talking about. This is, in nature, what laminated flow is. So our experience is 12 aortic aneurysms, mainly thoracoabdominal aneurysms, during the last one, uh, year. And uh, we have treated both non-symptomatic, symptomatic, and even a couple of ruptured aneurysms. In the patients where there were no symptoms or they have symptomatic, we had no good alternatives. In the ruptured aneurysm, we decided that we had no treatment at all to offer these patients. Some technical aspects. Uh, this is uh, uh, just a stent, so when, when you deploy it, you don't have to rush, you have no windsock effect, you can do it in one step like this or step by step. It is a shortening, as you see, and you have to calculate with that. It's, in a way, a gigantic wall stent. And you build it from below up to the thoracic descending, and actually the iliac uh, is like a branch. You overstand the bifurcation, and <clears throat> you aim to have a healthy landing zone in the Jurassic. You can't oversize the stand too much. It's limited to 25%. In practical, this, mean, this means that it's a modular system. Angulation, this is a ruptured case we had, and this heavy angulation uh, showed this picture after stand. So the, it's a problem when you have two angulated cases. So there is a learning curve, and um, the results then, we have maximum 12 months follow-up, and the me median is six months, and when it comes to mortality, we have uh, two patients, the two ruptured patients both died. The first patient, number three, had a rupture. She had lived for one week after the rupture, then she had the stent. She lived for one another week, and then she died from a cardiac infarction. The second patient, number eight, had a ruptured aneurysm and was in shock. He was acute, he had an acute multi-layer stent. He died three days later and it was from bleeding, continuous bleeding from the aneurysm, from the ruptured aneurysm. We had two elective cases that had died, one with uh, uh, not aneurysm related, and this is very important, non-ruptures in non-ruptured aneurysms. We have measured the pressure. This is uh, figures for, uh, tables from the two last patients where we have two catheters, one central in the aneurysm and one peripheral, and the radial, the red is the radial uh, reference, and you see no reducing pressure before or after stent implantation. Well, that maybe not mean something we don't know, but uh, the theory is that it's not the systemic flow pressure itself that caused the, uh, the rupture. It's the, the turbulent flow with damaging vortex that, that creates the rupture. And resize over time, we see actually more or less a flat curve or a tendency even to an, uh, an increase in size. Thrombus formation, we have had one patient with complete thrombus formation after three months and also patent, brecha, patent branch vessels. All 25 branch vessels were patent in, in this uh, study. So, is it safe for the branches? Yes, but you have to know it's closed the door for the future. Thrombus formation, yes, I will say probably, but it can take time. And the big question, aneurysm shrinking and prevention from rupture. 
Well, I will say, we have not, you can say yet, find anything that support this. So the conclusion is that you have to be very strict on the indication when you use this multi-layer stent, just in real true compassionate cases. Saying that, I mean, we have to go for further data. And thank you for your attention.